In this lesson, we're going to learn how to perform calculations within a table. And on the screen, we have a table of our fruit stand sales. And so we have fruits on the left-hand side of our table, and then we have values or numbers on the right-hand side of our table. So let's say that we wanted an additional row at the bottom of our fruit stand sales table, and we want to be able to add up these values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the last cell, the pineapples row, and I'm going to press the tab button on my keyboard, which will add another row into my fruit stand sales table. I'm going to label this last cell total and tab into the, the final box here. And this is where I'm going to apply my formula. In the table tools ribbon under layout tab, we want to click the formula button. And this will allow us to place a formula within our table. Now Excel has already put a default in here for the formula that it thinks that we want to perform. And it says equals sum, open parentheses, above, and closing parentheses. Now there are other functions or other formulas you can put in here. So let's just take a look at some of these options here. Sum is the, is the word that that means to add something up. But we could take the average, we could count, and there are plenty of other functions that we could use in place of sum if we wanted to. For now, we're going to keep the sum because we do want to add up these values within the table. And we're going to click OK. And you see that Word has placed the total here of all of these values. And if you single click, you'll notice that you have a gray shaded box or a gray shaded highlight that tells you that this isn't just a normal value that's been typed into this cell. There is a formula here. And so the great thing about this is that it's updatable. So let's say, for example, that we change one of our values. And let's say we didn't sell 76 apples. We sold 42 apples. I'm going to type 42 and tab out of that. And actually, I have to go here and click on formula again, click OK, and now it will update my total so that I don't have to get my calculator out and add up all these values. And then if you like, you can change some of the formatting options here so that it looks a little bit more appealing. We can move the total into the center of its respective box. We can make the total and the total value if we go to the Home tab here, we can make it bold. We can change the background of some of these cells within the design. Let's say we want that to be orange. And let's say we want a thicker border underneath this item so that it kind of looks like a total down there. We can do that with border styles there. And then let's say I want this fruit stand sales to be bold and a slightly larger type style so that that stands out within my table. And there we go. Now you know how to add up a column of numbers within a table.